When it comes to cooking a tasty Indian vegetarian meal, most of us fall back on the classic potato or paneer. But what about the other good old veggies? And there are so many of them. So today's recipe uses one of my favorite root vegetables in a mouth-watering and delicious way. Let me introduce the main ingredient of the dish. It's called arbi. And what I have done is I have boiled these arbis in salt water for around 15 to 18 minutes. Let them cool down completely and peel them. And now I'm going to cut them. Take a arbi and cut them into half inch pieces. Next I'm going to apply a little bit of oil onto my palms. and press down these arbi pieces and put it in a bowl the last one is done arbi is a little slimy so to cut the sliminess I'm going to dust it with about one and a half to two tablespoons of rice flour toss it well make sure they're nicely coated and now onto the pan. Heat about two tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to add some cumin seeds, a teaspoon of fennel seeds, a few curry leaves and a green chilli. And now I'm going to put all the arbi pieces in the pan. You can even deep fry the arbi pieces separately. Otherwise, you can shallow fry them. The only difference is this will take a little more time. And now let these cook on low flame till they turn slightly brown. While these are cooking, I'm going to mix all the dry spices. So half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander and cumin seed powder, 1 teaspoon of chaat masala, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of salt. Give this a mix and keep it aside. The arbis got color and also make sure that one surface of every piece touches the pan. And now I'm going to add the dry masala mix, sprinkle it, toss it around and I'm also going to squeeze half a lime. Garnish with a little bit of coriander leaves and a final toss and this is done. The beauty of this dish is that it can be eaten as a snack or also can be served in a complete meal with your rotis, dal and rice. So do give this a try and let me know how it turned out. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.